Okay. Hello, welcome everybody. I'm so excited to be here. It's a new month of 2021 and thank you for joining me today. Um, and even if you can't join me today, please watch the broadcast um, later on when you have time. Um, so let me get in and just discuss a little bit about our new pattern that I designed and created and it's called I'm with Cupid. And it's Q apostrophe P I D Cupid. And it just has to do with these little arrows and stuff. So as I was, you can see the evolution <laughs> of the clue. So I wanted to do something with hearts, and but I wanted to do something with arrows as well. And I had this idea in my head of how to make little arrows pointing different directions. And so that's what we're going to work on today is this little quilt here. And I'm going to show you how to get started. And I will have the instructions. So if you do want the instructions, um, be sure that you email me. I'm making you email me for the instructions. So it's Carla with a K, K-A-R-L-A at Grace, G-R-A-C-E frame, F-R-A-M-E dot com. And if you'll email me, I would love to send you um, a copy of the instructions for I'm with Cupid. Okay, first of all, before I jump in, I'm, today I get to discuss our wonderful True Cut um, line of products. And I love True Cut. It has enabled me to save on fabric, to save on my fingers, to save on my shoulders, my wrists. I love quilting. So anything that can eliminate the stress and the strain of quilting and piecing and cutting is just so nice to have. So I just want to um, tell you that we're having this month a great sell on our True Cut items. So go to our website, graceframe.com, and check out the sale because it is fabulous. Um, but this week, our giveaway will be a True Cut combo, which will be the Comfort Cutter, the True Grips, and the six and a half by 24 and a half inch ruler. And it's what I've been using to cut out this whole quilt. And I have spent days making mistake after mistake so I get it just right for you. Because when you're putting together a pattern, you do. You have to learn what sizes are going to work with what and how it's going to fit together. So I have to experiment a little bit. And that's what I've been doing so that when I come to you, I can show you all the little tricks that I learned and make it easier for you as you're quilting. And I'm going to write my little, trips into, uh, my little tricks into the instructions as well. Um, but anyway, there's the True Cut combo. So what we want you to do is to comment about what you love about quilting. And we will name the winners next week. And so if you will make your comments about what you love about quilting, um, that would be fabulous. And then also, we're going to give away another thing. This is what my mom invented, this tool. Um, Vicki, what did Vicki say? I couldn't. Let me put that. She says, Upper Michigan, we got a heat wave of 31. Wow, that is a heat wave for Michigan, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, put the shorts on. You're ready to go. <laughs> Hi, Becky Higley. Hi. Nice, nice of you to join us today from Clinton, Utah. So the other thing that we're going to give away next week is my mom's invention. It's the linear sharpener. And if you want to keep cutting and, and finish your project, um, this is a tool that you need and shouldn't be without. Um, it just keeps your blades nice and sharp so you can keep cutting, cutting, cutting. So this is the other thing that we're giving away next week. So be sure to make your comments. Um, what you love about quilting, because I love all aspects of it. Um, I love the cutting of the fabric. I love the piecing of the fabric together. and I also love the quilting part of it. Um, you may just love um, the cutting and the piecing. Um, others may love just the quilting part. But we're here to say that you can do it all. And you can love it all as well. So let me jump in and get started on the I'm with Cupid quilt. So the first thing I want to cover is the arrows. 
So that was the first thing that I was working on, and I learned a couple little tricks that I'm really excited to show you. So I tried to make this as simple and easy as possible. Um, so you're learning from my mistakes here. So for the arrow, we cut. I cut out. Uh, it's a four and a half. Yes, yeah, so a four and a half by four and a half inch square, and I cut out several of them. You'll need about. 36 of the red to go around the outer border, and you'll need about 26 of the pink for the inner border. Um, so this is the foundation of the arrow right here. And what I did is I cut out several of these, and then I cut out um, a three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch um, white square. And this is my three and a quarter. And you have two of these. And what I did is I folded it in half so I had a little line that went through it. Okay? Yeah, right there. So I just folded it. Now, if you can't see it and you have a hard time with it, what you'll do is you'll take a little soft pencil and a ruler and just mark across it so that you can see. And this, I'll, you put on one corner, the top right corner of your square. And when I turn it around, it turns to <laughs> the left corner. But when it's facing me, it's the top right. So anyway, so now you've laid it so that your corners are nice and even. OK? Your corners are nice and even. And if you want to pin it, you can. I didn't pin it so that I could pull and adjust. But then you're going to sew from this corner to this corner and make a diagonal, OK? So you're just going to sew across that. And that's what I did with this one right here, OK? So here's the square that I sewed across. Wait, which camera do you want? And it's white thread, so I hope you can see where I've sewn, OK? So then I took another same size square, 3 and a quarter by 3 and a quarter, and on the opposite side, I, I folded it and did the same thing. Okay, and now what you do is after you've sewn all those together, what you're going to do is you're going to take your ruler and you're going to line it up right here where your sewing line is, a quarter of an inch, and then you're just going to cut. And there you go. And then you're just going to cut. All right, there we go. Just line it up so you can cut. All right, there you go. All right, and it doesn't have to be exactly even or exactly straight because that's not anything to worry about. Now, this is the, you could see how this is the shaft of my arrow, okay? Now you're going to iron these. And you usually iron towards the darkest color, but on this one you're going to iron towards the white so it lays nice and flat. So just iron it down, and I'm going to finger press it right now. Okay, so now I have my shaft for my arrow. So now that you've got that done, you're going to take uh, where did my one piece go? Okay. You're going to take um, a small uh, square. It'll be a three by three inch square. Okay. And this will be the, the tip of the arrow. So the three by three. And then you're going to do the same thing. So I just folded it and creased it. And then I sewed from this point to this point on one end. Okay. And that's what I did. And then you're just going to cut just like you did um, for the other two sides. You're just going to cut like that. So now, now you can see, I'm just going to finger press this down. Now I have the point of my arrow. Okay. Now you're going to take a one and a half by one and a half inch square, white square. That's what I did right here. This is one and a half by one and a half. And you're going to put it on the other end. And this is going to be this little, little square right here. 
it's going to be part of it, a quarter of it, okay? And so I'm going to line it up, do the same thing, sew across, sew across from here to here, and now I'm just going to cut it as well, and just going to line it up and give it a nice little cut, and now I have my arrow. Okay, so the trick to this arrow is we're going to do a little fussy cut, okay? <laughs> to make it nice and straight and to make sure that right here from this shaft to this is a quarter of an inch and from right here this is a quarter of an inch. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay it down and it would be better if I had the iron here but I don't. So anyway, I'm just going to lay it down on my mat, okay? And I'm going to take my ruler here and I am going to make sure that I like to line it up right here, okay, along this edge. So I'm lining my arrow part, this bottom edge, with one of the lines on my mat, and I want to turn it so I have my quarter of an inch. So that was the half inch side. So right here, see where I have my quarter of an inch right here? I just want to make sure that quarter of an inch line is right there on that corner of the arrow. So it'll be right here, just a quarter inch away. Okay, and now, can you see what I'm doing? <laughs> I hope so. I'll put these in the instructions and I'm just going to cut it straight across. Now I can turn it over. See, right now, now this is a quarter inch right here from this little corner to this outside edge. And that's what I was talking about fussy cutting right here from this little corner to this outside edge. Now I'm just going to turn it and do the other side. Now this is really important and I know it's kind of tedious and it takes time, but if you want it to come together and you want it to look nice and even, it's worth it to make these little fussy cuts. Don't try and do it without it. I'm speaking from experience on this one, okay? And then if you have to line up the other edges and just square them up, you can. But now you can see that I have a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an inch, okay? So I'm going to quickly hurry <laughs> and do this one so that I can show you how to pin a, the two together to get the nice little tips. So we want, if you can come back here, we want the tips to meet, but we don't want them to cross or anything like that. So I'm just going to show you how to pin and sew down it. Or it's the secret is in the pinning, to be honest with you. So if you pin it correctly, and I learned <laughs> um, the hard way to pin it correctly, because uh, I was going off of what we've learned is to how to pin it. So. Let me hurry in and even this one up as well. So you can see that I just need to quickly, well, take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Don't quickly do it. Take your time and, and cut it and make it nice and even and straight. And, and that's what my husband kept telling me when I kept making mistake after mistake after mistake trying to get the instructions correct and the, and the cutting and squaring up and he said, well babe, take it slow, slow and steady, wins the race and he kept saying, okay. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Now I'm just going to line it up and just cut across and fussy cut that and then I'm just going to turn this one and it really does help if you iron them before you come to the cutter and cut, okay? There we go. Okay, so now I have my two arrows. And what we want to do is we want to sew them together. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring them together. And you see where the little fold is? See how I'm going to line that up? right there, those two together. I'm taking the little tip right here and right here and lining them up. And I'm going to take my pin and just pin it right here on this side. 
Okay, so I just pinned it on this side of my little X right here. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to take my pin and I'm just going to pin it right here on the other side. Now, when I was trying to do this, I was pinning right over that X and every time I turn it over, the other side <laughs> would be down a little lower and so it took so my points were off my two little points by pinning on each side of that little x where those meet it allows it to you to sew across it without it pushing from one side or the other and so then you're just going to sew your quarter inch seam and i'm just going to turn it over here and you'll sew your quarter inch seam from this point to this point and then You'll be amazed at how well these line up and how you can iron them. It, it looks so good. So just know that this is really important to make them line up to get this nice little square right here. Okay? So once you do that, once you've sewn that up, then you have your two arrows. Then what you're going to do is do your other two arrows and you're just going to sew them together. So what I did is I sewed these two together and then I sewed these two, and then I took these two and I sewed them across and sewed them together to make my four, okay? So that's how you make the arrows, and they're not hard, just remember the little tricks that I showed you, okay? So the arrows I found were probably <laughs> the easiest part because the, the little hearts, I kept getting turned around and I kept forgetting what I was doing. So what you're gonna do for the hearts is you're going to cut out um, two strips um, right sides together so you have a left and a right and it doesn't really matter right now um, it, whether which sides left or which sides right so what you're going to do is you're going to cut them four and a quarter by eight and a quarter long so you have these long nice little strips okay and when you're laying this out and you're putting them on, you need to remember which square is your center square and which is your outer square. So I suggest you do one heart at a time <laughs> because I kept screwing it up because I kept putting this square on the outside where it goes on the inside. Do you see right here how this has a deeper, so it's a larger square than the square on the outside. So. This square right here is a two inch square and you'll just put it right here in the inside corner of your heart and this one right here on the inside corner. So that will make the little V at the top of the heart. All right. This square right here is an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half, sorry, an inch and a half by an inch and a half and it just goes right here and right here. All right. And then you'll just sew it down, okay? Now you're going to take, what is my white? Okay, this is a four and a half um, by, no, it's a four and a half by, it's a four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch square. And you're just gonna lay it across, sorry, right here and no, you have to remember, you have to do this correctly. <laughs> so it has to come in and make that little point for the heart. So you, you'll, you'll turn it and do it like that. So that's how you're sewing it. So just remember that there's a, a right side and a left side, and you have to have the mirror image, okay? <laughs> All right, and just do them one at a time. There's only nine little hearts, so do them one at a time. And then once they're sewn and you and you cut off the rest of the, the triangle, you'll have a piece that looks like this. And I had it sewn together, but I unpicked it to show you what to do. And you're going to take these two pieces, okay, and you're just going to put, flip them. And again, to make them line up correctly, you're going to put the points together, and you're just going to pin it right here, right here. And I did one in the middle so it didn't pull out on me. And then you're going to put one down here where these two meet, okay? You want these two right here to come together. It's 
so your points come out correctly. And that's how you're going to solve that. And then, then, yeah. Yeah, and I will have the instructions. So please, if you want the instructions for this fun little quilt, you can email me, Carla with a K, K A R L A, at Grace, G R A C E, frame, F R A M E dot com. And I'd love to share what I've learned with you all. Um, the only thing is, is that you need to remember that when you're doing the corners, you see how I have an extra red one? So I have two red ones right here to a red, a pink, and a red one. So the corners are different than these other center sections. So you can put the corners together first. It's not hard to do. It's so easy and so much fun. So any questions or thoughts or tricks or anything like that? Anyway. So this is the blocks sewn together. And I started on pick to show you <laughs> show you what it looked like, but but look how fun. Look how easy it is. So just a fun, simple little easy quilt that gets you going for Valentine's and for the month of February. Um, and next week, I just am um, gonna share with you, we're going to quilt the quilt. I'm going to use a little bit of the ruler work on it and free motion. And so I want to remind you again to make sure that you comment about what you love about quilting to win the, the 45 inch comfort cutter, the true grips and the 24 and a half by um, <clears throat> six and a half inch ruler, which is what I use today. This is the comfort cutter combo. Um, and so, and yes, as well, we're going to have, we are having a sale right now on our True Cut items, so make sure you go to the Grace Company website, graceframe.com, and check it out, and check out all these wonderful tools, and the other thing we're giving away is the Linear Sharpener, which is what my mom invented. It's awesome. So make sure you make your comments, and we'll give those away next week. And I look forward to hearing from you and, and, and learning more about you. I love meeting you, even though we can't meet face to face all the time. It's so nice to hear from you and hear what you like and what you love about quilting because I certainly have a passion for it. And I'm very excited to share my passion with you all. I, I didn't know I would really like um, designing patterns and, and things like that, but I really am enjoying it. So keep encouraging me and pushing me. Push me to the next level. I, I need a little shove here because you get in your little comfort zone and you need a challenge once in a while. So it's... Um, so it's, it's something that I love sharing with you, and I appreciate you joining me today. And I will have these instructions done, so if you do want them, just email me and let me know. And we will, um, we will see you next week where we're going to quilt um, the quilt that I'm working on today. So thanks for joining me, and thanks for sharing I'm with Cupid with you. We'll see you next week.